What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Will, and we're back with another sync banger. Today, we're gonna to be talking about music libraries, the pros and cons, and the slight advantages you might have if you're just getting into sync licensing. Before we start talking about the good and the bad things about music libraries, we probably should define what they are. Who? So essentially what a music library is, is an all you can eat buffet in Las Vegas that music supervisors go to to find a smorgasbord of different types of music in order to help them marry said sound to picture. This makes it super easy for the music supervisors to sample and choose what music works perfectly with the projects they're working on at that given time. But now that we know exactly what a music library is, let's get into learning the ins and outs of how to work with one. Now, music libraries are a game changer for your sync licensing career. Here's some benefits with working with them. Number one, your music is going to reach a huge range of clients, which is going to lead to increasing your chances of landing sync placements. Now you could do this yourself and try to wheel and deal your music to different film production studios and things of that nature, but everyone knows where Walmart is, right? So why don't you just put your music on the shelf there? This makes sense, right? Definitely a pro. Second thing that's great about music libraries is it helps you generate passive income. How? The more music you have on the shelf in a music library means the more people are going to have access to it. So instead of just having maybe two cereal boxes on the, on the shelf, why don't you own the whole aisle? That's what we like to do in order to try to create passive income through sync licensing. And reason number three why I love working with them is because it's hassle free as far as handling most of the legal situations. A music library is acting as your publisher, meaning they're the ones that are basically helping with their influence and contacts and connections to help monetize your music with sync licensing opportunities. They handle the legal stuff, the admin stuff to make sure everything's really organized and easy to find and search through their catalog, while all you have to do is focus on making more dope music. Everybody wins. Now let's talk about the cons, the dark side of music libraries. And I'm being cynical with some of this stuff, but by all means, continue to have the abundance mindset when it comes to working with libraries because there's a ton of them out there and there's a ton of need for new music in different TV shows, video games, commercials, what have you. First thing is competition. And I hate using that word because we're more like coworkers in the sync licensing space, but there's a ton of other tracks that are normally in a library. Typical size of a library I've personally seen with success is about somewhere around 10 to 15,000 songs. If you put in one, how are you supposed to be seen? So standing out can be tough without metadata and just having a large catalog inside what they're pitching constantly. Con number two, normally the royalties with some of these things can be a lot smaller depending on the shows that they're working with or if they have something like a blanket license over some of their music. Some deals may be less favorable than others, but as acting as a music publisher for you, library is normally gonna take about anywhere between 30 to 50% of the upfront fees because they're actually helping you get the placement. So honestly, half of zero is still zero. So I'd rather share with a, a publishing team that's gonna help me make as much as I can off of said song. It's a win-win and everybody's got incentive to make more money off your music. And the third thing that might be perceived as a con in sync licensing with music libraries is loss of control, which is normally okay for most people because they wanna just focus on making music. But nine times out of 10, I normally don't have as much say as to what gets used on TV and film if they choose my song, unless I give explicit instructions on, hey, I don't want my music associated with this TV show brand or what have you, especially in exclusive deals, they're probably gonna go for it because it's already been cleared. So limiting your opportunities or where your music gets used, you have less of a control over that. If you're finding this information helpful so far, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe for more videos like this. We explain more about how to work with sync agents and music libraries in this video here. 